Uh, I personally, <laughs> after I masturbate, I like to come up on stage and tell some jokes. <laughs> Yoga, I do yoga. If you haven't done yoga, you don't need to. Just run as fast as you can on a wet floor, whatever position you end up in. That is a good stretch. It doesn't, don't waste your money. If I see one more commercial for a product that's supposed to make your penis bigger than it is, I'll be broke. I swear to God. <laughs> I was watching something for like 45 minutes when it was on black and white and there was like, uh, it was on, in a street and the gardeners were arguing with contractors and I thought, wow, who's going to get eliminated here? And then a woman, <laughs> like a hooker walked up and she rang a bell and then my doorbell rang and I realized I've been watching my security camera. <laughs> This is a good show. What's going on in front of Gary's door? Are you market? Gee, I... I guess I am. I never think of myself as on the market. But, you know, if you want to throw me on a fucking scale and give it to me, I'll take it. Honestly. Donald Trump is a star, a television star? I guess you gotta give him credit. It's a real, you know, rags to riches fucking story, isn't it? There's a guy who really struggled and took whatever shit jobs he had to take. I mean, the guy had to open hotels in Atlantic City until he got on television. And followed his fucking dream. You know what the, I'd say? The first thing, you know what the first thing I'd say if I was on that show? I quit. <laughs> and when all the violence kind of start, isn't that when the confusion started in the world? Is when that Viagra first? How hypocritical is this? Isn't on my fucking notes. <laughs> Critical is the government that they take a drug like ecstasy, which puts you, kind of opens you up and puts you in the mood to have sex. That's illegal, but a drug that gives you a hard on for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> great, make as much of it as you can. That's when all the trouble started because men are taking Viagra, they're getting erections, and they, they're, they don't know what to do with them. And go in, they would go into gun shops and just go, I'll shoot it off at this point. <laughs> You got an erection, they should have the same 10 day waiting period for Viagra that they got for handguns. To make sure you're fucking somebody. I'm sorry, sir, we're gonna have to see a picture in a note, huh? You know, not a big star. I was sitting at the Laker game, and at the Laker game, you don't know what it feels like to. They showed me up on the Jumbotron and. A few people applauded. <laughs> then they showed Eddie Murphy and the place fucking erupted. <laughs> I started to see a basketball game and suddenly I feel like shit. <laughs> oh my god, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Have you been to that nude beach um, just outside your house? <laughs> get those weird circles at the nude beaches from the binoculars. I, <laughs> I was in the grocery store. I, do, I still do some of my shopping. I buy my own condoms, <laughs> uh, which is awkward because I like to try them on. <laughs> and there's no try-on booths in the drugstore. And I like to come out and go, is this going to make me look fat? <laughs> I know about uh, those rap rappers and because uh, I watched the banner on the bottom of CNN and it's, it said Jay-Z sprayed R. Kelly with pepper spray. That was on the fucking, it said Yasser, Ar it was two months ago, Yasser Arafat dies on that banner. Uh, we have control of Fallujah and 
Jay-Z sprays, R. Kelly <laughs> pepper spray. And I went, is this all the fucking news all lumped together and that's what it's about? And then I got confused a week later because it just flies at you too fast. And I said to my friend, I think Jay-Z sprayed Yasser Arafat with pepper spray in uh, somewhere in Florida or something. <laughs> But I just realized I'm totally comfortable talking to you without fuck sleeping with you. We'll change the word, because uh, that word is uh, hard-hitting. Fuck. It, although it's, the, it's the, strangely the closest two people can be spiritually, emotionally, but I like to say uh, making love. So I was making love to this woman in the ass. <laughs> And if you think Hillary Clinton, here's my fear with Hillary. I, I think that's what, what is motivating her to run for president is that Bill had that affair while she was in the White House. And I think she just wants to get in the White House to have an affair, to get even with him. And she's going to be in the White House and she's going to be saying, I, I don't want to deal with North Korea now. Just bring me the boy. <laughs> I, I've heard my rabbi say things about the price of gas that would scare the fuck out of you. <laughs> By the way, does the price of gasoline have to get according to the Bible for it technically to be the end of the world? Is it six bucks a gallon before Jesus comes back and says, I told you alternative sources. How long ago? So I thought that's why we went to Iraq. I'm so confused. I thought I had, I thought, oh, I'm against the war because we're just going for oil. Now, I want to, shouldn't we be getting some fucking oil? <laughs> now I did. Here's no. the difference between Gary and myself. I am not afraid to um, um, have a bad marriage. Because I've had, I've had one before. I'm on my second marriage. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gary has not been married. Um, but and I don't look so stupid as I used to, do I? <laughs> People now look at me and go, ah. But you have not learned how to surrender, as I have. You have to surrender sometimes. and uh... You play whatever games you need to play. Uh, she can be the Indian and I'll be the Calvary, whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, she's a Nazi, you're a Jew, play the game. <laughs> surrender, wave the white fucking flag, and uh, good luck with uh, everything. <laughs> The president of Afghanistan, who is Karzai, he actually said on CNN, it's going so well in Afghanistan now that they see the day when there'll be tourism. <laughs> That's exact. I said it out loud in my living room the way you did, ma'am. I went, tourism? <laughs> Gee. Uh, I haven't even been to Vietnam yet. <laughs> I don't know how down your fucking list Afghanistan is. But I would think Santa Fe first. They look similar. We'll go to I haven't even been to I haven't been to Germany. I've gotta catch up. I haven't been to certain states in the south yet. Wait, waiting for that whole fucking thing to settle down. I, I have to finish it up. Is that my finish it up line? That's my five or ten minute line? Five. Five minutes. You know, that was God. <laughs> Gary. Yeah, yeah, God? I, I, uh, I'd be wrapping it up if I was you. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's, you know, they still like you. Uh, they're trying to, you know, figure out if you actually know what you're doing. And they're going with it. I think they sort of trust you and have a feeling like it's going to be okay. But I'm getting scared. Well, how about, what do you recommend? I, you know, look at your fucking notes. And then two minutes. Okay. Love your shows, by the way. See you soon.